Now, I'll admit this is quite a hard question to to even get into in terms of what's a way that I can conceive of this that then I can start to apply conditions to to do the subsequent questions, okay? But once you have that, it kind of starts to spill out a little bit. So maybe you'll be able to help me once I've got a common concept for this. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, I'm trying to work out what am I choosing? What am I arranging? What's going on here, okay? So in order to come up with like a framework for how to do this, I want to think about, well, how would I describe the different ways? How could I tell one way from another, right? Now, how, what might be one of the paths through here? Okay, well, he, here's a path. Uh, look, there we go. That is one of the paths, right? Now, how would you tell someone if, you know, you see this, you all can see this now, but you want to communicate to someone outside the room, this particular path as opposed to, for instance, say this path. These are two different paths. They arrive at the same spot, but how would you describe them to someone? What language would you use? Say the black one. How would you describe that one? You can't just tell them to go from A to B, because either black or blue would do that. Can someone tell me how would you describe black to distinguish it from blue? Has anyone navigated anywhere recently? You guys are starting to learn drive, right? Uh, you need to give someone directions, yeah? You need to provide someone directions because you can get, you can get to Cherubra Village you know, via New Line Road or via Shepherd's View. You could go around the back if you wanted, okay? You would have to describe like a series of turns and directions and so on. And you can do the same thing here, can't you? Like with the black path, right? What's the very first thing that you do? You go to the right. You say right. And then after you go right, you go down. And then you go right again, and then you go down, down, down. And then I think we alternate all the way to the end. Is that right? Uh, right, down, right, down. Is that okay? All right, now you describe to me, it's an easy one. How do you describe the blue path? You, you get out, you get out that, that Coles song, whatever, like, do you remember when they were promoting that? That was really cheesy, right? You go down, 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 down. You do that how many times? Six times to get all the way to the bottom. And then you do all of the rights. How many? Four of them. Okay. Now these are two different paths through here. And obviously there are many, many more. Okay. But now that I've got a way to articulate what is happening, right? can you see I can use these as a framework for now putting some numbers down. right? Um, you are rearranging some objects. What kinds of objects, or how many objects are you rearranging each time? How many steps must you take to get to the end every time? Count them up. The number of ways, or the number of steps you've got to go, rather, is you've always got to go four to the right at some point. Have a look at them. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay? And you always have to go down how many times? Six times, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter where you do them, but you've got to do them eventually. Okay? So you've got six of those, four of these. How many in total are you doing? Ten objects. And you're rearranging them. How many ways are there to rearrange ten objects? Ten factorial. But of course, we're drastically overcounted if we just say ten factorial, because there are many repeated letters, right? How many repeated letters are there? There are six and four. Six downs you can do and four rights you can do. So I can rearrange the downs this way and I can rearrange the rights this way. Right? Hey, by the way, we have, um, don't we have notation for this that can get us there quickly? How would you say that? This is 10C6 or you could also call it 10C4. Okay? Now, this will give us an answer. I think it's what, 200, 210. Okay, there you go. Right? But I'm interested in, like I didn't think of it as this to begin with. Can you tell me a story for how this is equivalent to, say, this? Hmm. To create all the different paths, right? Uh, you always have to take 10 steps, right? Always have to take 10 steps. So let me just draw out 10 steps, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. 10 steps, okay? Now, some of these have to be down, uh, sorry, some of these have to be right steps. 
how many of them have to be right steps? Come on, Thinora, help me out. How many of these 10 steps have to be to the right? To the right? Have a look. It's always the same number every time. Four of them have to be to the right, right? Thank you, Shalini. Good both in a row. Um, four of them, you have to pick four, right? Choose four. Um, say this one, and this one, and this one, and why not this one, right? You've got how many choices for where you can put those rightward steps? How many, like, is there any restriction on where I put them? Can I put them anywhere? I can, right? So any of those ten are fine. And you have to choose how many of them to be right steps. Well, you've got to choose four of them, right? So can you see why it's also 10C6? You don't have to place the right steps. You don't have to choose possible. You could choose where to put the down steps, of which there are six. Does that make sense? You with me? So there you go, 210. 10C6, 10C4, both of them are fine. Okay.